Hello everyone, for today I'm going to discuss to you the second part of polynomials which is about multiplying and dividing polynomials. In multiplying polynomials, the laws of commutativity, associativity, distributivity, and exponents are applied. For the first example, we have 3uv cubed w multiplied to negative 2u squared v raised to 4. So we have here a multiplication of two monomials. And in this example, we're just going to multiply the like terms. It's the numerical coefficient multiplied to the numerical coefficient and the variables multiplied to the variables. Multiplying... 3 and negative 2, u and u squared, v cubed and v4, and we still have w. So this will give us negative 6u raised to 3. So we're just going to add the exponents. Then v raised to 7. So that's 3 plus 4 and just copy w. So for the final answer, we have negative 6u cubed v raised to 7, w. For the second example, we have here a multiplication of a monomial and a binomial. In here, we're going to apply the law of distributivity. We are going to distribute m squared n to m minus 2n. So that will be equal to m squared n multiplied to m minus m squared n multiplied to 2n. So this will give us m raised to 3 n minus 2 m squared n squared. So just combine the like terms. For the third example, we have here a multiplication of two binomials. And if you're going to encounter finding the products of this form, we're just going to use the FOIL method. So first term first, so that will be p multiplied to 3p, which will give us 3p squared, p multiplied to q, that will give us pq. Then we have the inner term, negative 5q multiplied to 3p, so that will give us negative 15pq. And then for the last term, we have negative 5q multiplied to q, that will give us negative 5q squared. And then we'll Combine the like terms, so that is pq minus 15q. So that will give us negative 14q. So for the final answer, we have 3p squared minus 14pq minus 5q squared. Fourth example, we have here a multiplication of a binomial and a trinomial. And in here, we have to apply the law of distributivity. So we have to distribute 3R to every term in this trinomial. And since we have a minus sign here, we have to distribute negative A to every term in this trinomial as well. So that will give us 3R multiplied to 5R squared minus 2R minus 5 minus 8 multiplied to 5R squared minus 2R minus 5. And by applying the law of distributivity, 3r multiplied to 5r squared, that will give us 15r cubed. 3r multiplied to negative 2r, that will give us negative 6r squared. 3r multiplied to negative 5, that will give us negative 15r. And by distributing negative 8 to 5r squared, that will give us negative 40r squared, negative 8 multiplied to negative 2r, that will give us positive 16r, and negative 8 multiplied to negative 5, so that will give us plus 40. And for us to arrive at the final answer, we have two combined like terms. So let's just copy 15r cubed, and then we'll combine negative 6r squared minus 40r squared, that will give us minus 46 r squared and then we'll have negative 15 r plus 16 r so that will give us positive r and then just copy the constant 40 so for the final answer we have 15 r cubed minus 46 r squared plus r plus 40. The multiplication of a trinomial and a 
polynomial with four terms, law of distributivity is also applied. So just like what we did on the previous example. Okay, so we'll distribute x squared to this four-term polynomial. We'll have to distribute positive x to this four-term polynomial. And we have to distribute negative one as well to this four-term polynomial. So that's why we'll have this four. So we have here x squared plus x minus one. And they are multiplied to the four-term polynomial. And by applying the law of distributivity, x squared multiplied to 3x cubed, that will give us 3x raised to 5. x squared multiplied to negative 2x squared, that will give us negative 2x raised to 4. x squared multiplied to x, that will give us positive x cubed. And then x squared multiplied to 4, that will give us 4x squared. Then let's now proceed with the second term. So that will be x multiplied to 3x cubed. That will give us 3x raised to 4. x multiplied to negative 2x squared. That will give us negative 2x cubed. x multiplied to x. That will give us x squared. And x multiplied to 4. That will give us 4x. And here we have to distribute negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied to 3x cubed. That will give us negative 3x cubed. Negative 1 multiplied to 2x squared, that will give us positive 2x squared. Negative 1 multiplied to x, that will give us negative x. And negative 1 multiplied to 4, that will give us negative 4. And now we'll combine like terms. So just copy 3x raised to 5. Then we have negative 2x raised to 4 plus 3x raised to 4. That will give us x raised to 4. Then for the third degree, we'll have positive x cubed minus 2x cubed minus 3x cubed. That will give us the sum equal to negative 4x cubed. Then for the second degree, we have positive 4x squared plus x squared plus 2x squared. That will give us the sum equal to 7x squared. And for the first degree, we have positive 4x minus x, that will give us 3x. And then let's just copy the constant 4. So that will be minus 4. So for the final answer, it is equal to 3x raised to 5 plus x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. Another way to multiply polynomials is by using the coefficient of factors. And here are the steps. We have to arrange first the terms of each factor in descending power. Say we have this example, x squared plus x minus 1 multiplied to 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 4. So we have to arrange it in descending powers and this example is already arranged in descending powers. Second step, we have to write the coefficients of the first factor in a row so here is the first factor and its coefficients in a row and the coefficients of the second factor on the extreme right column. So here is the second factor. So here are the coefficients of the second factor. So we have your x squared, x squared, its numerical coefficient is 1, x numerical coefficient is 1, then the constant or c is equal to negative 1. Then for the Second factor, we have x cubed and the numerical coefficient is 3. For the next degree, we have x squared and its numerical coefficient is negative 2. Then we have x, the numerical coefficient is 1. And then we have the constant, which is equal to 4. And for instance, that there is a missing power, then its coefficient is 0. So say, for example, we don't have the value of x here, then what you're going to write in the numerical coefficient column is 0. So that's, it. that's if in case x is not present. Next step, 
we will multiply each coefficient of the first factor by each coefficient of the second factor and write the product in the corresponding row and column of the coefficients being multiplied. So we have to multiply 1 by 3. That will give us 3. You have to multiply 1 by 3. That will give us the product equal to 3. The negative 1 multiplied to 3, that will give us negative 3. The next will have 1 multiplied to negative 2, that will give us negative 2. 1 multiplied to negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Negative 1 multiplied to negative 2 will give us positive 2. And for the third, we have 1 multiplied to 1 will give us 1. 1 multiplied to 1 will give us 1 and negative 1 multiplied to 1, that will give us negative 1. And lastly, we have 1 multiplied to 4. 4, 1 times 4, 4, and negative 1 times 4, that will give us 4. Now that we're done on the third step, let's now proceed. Next step is to add diagonally to obtain the coefficients of the desired product. Okay, so... Here are the products, and we're going to add it diagonally. So for the first diagonal, we have 3. Then we have 3 plus negative 2, that will give us 1. Then we have negative 3 plus negative 2 plus 1, that will give us negative 4. Then we have 2 plus 1 plus 4, that will give us 7. Then we have negative 1 plus 4, that will give us 3. And lastly, we have negative 4. And this will be your product. And for you to know the degree of the exponent of the product, you just have to multiply the variables of the first term. So we have there x squared multiplied to x cubed. So by adding the exponents, we'll have x raised to 5. And then just subtract 1 from the exponent to know the following degrees until you reach the constant. Thus, x squared plus x minus 1 multiplied to 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 4. That will give us the product equal to 3x raised to 5 plus 4x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. 